The system explains that Su Ping can access the shop by thinking about it and a shop interface appears in his mind. Su Ping tries to purchase the Awakening Potion but realizes he doesn't t have enough energy points. He learns that energy points are converted from money earned in the store, with an exchange rate of 101. Su Ping tries to convert the money in his account into energy points, but the system informs him that only store earnings can be converted. He realizes that he can make money in the pet store by renting pets, but he is surprised to learn that he cannot sell pets. The system informs him that he can only rent pets, not sell them, due to his current authority limitations. The available services in the store are pet boarding, pet renting, and selling pet food. The price for pet boarding is 10 energy points per hour for each pet. The price for pet renting services depends on the rank, ability, and aptitude of the pet, but since Su Ping hasn't t bred any pets, the prices cannot be estimated yet. Su Ping will have to harvest food from the cultivation site, and the price will be based on the quality of the food. He realizes that the store's services are limited and that there are no mechanisms or services related to pets such as apparel, toys, or grooming. He also learns that there are higher, priced nursing pens available, but he cannot afford them at the moment. The system explains that these nursing pens require one energy point per day to sustain and can improve the pets, power of understanding and constitution. The system informs Su Ping that the price for an elementary nursing pen is 100 energy points per hour. He calculates that this would make 2,400 energy points per day, which is significantly higher than the market price for pet boarding services. He asks if the price can be even higher, but the system rejects his request. He also remembers that he was missing for three days and worries about his family. However, the system reassures him that only three hours have passed in the outside world while he was in the cultivation site. Su Ping is surprised to learn that three hours have passed while he was in the void. He checks the computer to confirm the date and is relieved that it is still the same day he arrived at the store. He thinks about his family's reaction if he had been missing for three days and realizes his mother would be worried, but his sister might not care. He then focuses on the pet incubation and breeding quest he just collected and searches for the chaos spirit pool for incubation in the store. He finds a dried up well-like pond in the lounge and wonders if this is where he is supposed to incubate the pets. The system informs him that it can be used for incubation and that it only requires 10 energy points, which Su Ping finds to be a reasonable cost. He plans to use the energy points he earns to pay for the incubation. Su Ping asks the system for ways to quickly earn energy points and is informed that he can earn them by selling food. He remembers that he can harvest food at cultivation sites, but worries that they might be dangerous like the Thunder Cloud Realm. The system tells him that the Thunder Cloud Realm is just one of many cultivation sites and that he can choose a cultivation site within his price range. Su Ping is surprised to learn that he has to pay to go to a cultivation site and feels frustrated that he missed an opportunity to harvest food at the Thunder Cloud Realm. He blames the system for not informing him about it and the system warns him about using profanity. He becomes hesitant to go to a cultivation site due to the cost. The system explains that the fragment is a part broken off from the Thunder Cloud Realm and going there would be risky. Su Ping decides not to go to the cultivation site for now and feels exhausted from his recent experiences in the Thunder Cloud Realm. He closes the store and goes to sleep on the desk. Su Yenying returns to the academy and notices the empty pond where pets usually play. She knows that everyone is gathered at the stadium, like venue where the matches are taking place. She hurries towards the venue with her pet, the lighting rat, and hopes that her match will not start earlier than scheduled. Su Yenjing arrived at the Astral Pet Combat Stadium, not wearing her academy uniform but still recognized by the guard who let her in before she presented her student card. As she entered the stadium, she could hear the judge's excited voice shouting about the pyro cut. Inside the stadium, the spectators were thrilled and shouting as well. Su Yenjing was not phased by this, as she had experienced it before. She quickly found her class and joined her friend Lan Lele in the seats. She noticed that her pet, the lightning rat, was still with her and worried that it might be scared by the loud and crowded environment. However, she was relieved to see that the pet remained calm and unaffected. Su Yenjing and Lan Lele discussed the ongoing matches, and Lan Lele noticed the lightning rat eating fruit peels on the ground. 
She instructed the rat to stop and realized that she needed to file a complaint against the pet store that had mistreated her pets. Lan Lele was surprised when Su Yenjing mentioned that she was planning to have the lightning rat join her in the match. She thought it was a bad idea, as the lightning rat was only an intermediate stage pet and could easily be defeated by other pets. However, Su Yenjing was confident in her battle pet warrior skill, which could boost the rat's strength. As the matches continued, Su Yenjing noticed that the girl named Ice Jiang was drawing attention from both boys and envy from some girls. When Ice Jiang glanced at Su Yenjing, Su Yenjing felt a message in that look, urging her not to disappoint. Su Yenjing clenched her fist, showing her determination. Finally, it was Su Yenjing's turn to go on stage, she walked up confidently, with the lightning rat following closely behind. She stood calmly amidst the stares of the spectators and announced her name, preparing to face her opponent. Lan Lele exclaimed in shock when she saw the image of Zhang Xiao, a formidable opponent from Class 7, Grade 3, on the screen. Su Yenjing realized her bad luck in facing yet another tough opponent. Zhang Xiao, confident in his victory, taunted Su Yenjing about her injured pets. The judge announced the commencement of the match, and Zhang Xiao activated his pet, which emitted black flames and a white glow, indicating its second rank power of the blast. Zhang Xiao surprises everyone by summoning his powerful pet, the Dragon Hound, at the beginning of the match. The Dragon Hound is known for its violent and cruel nature, as well as its ability to release powerful flames that can overwhelm pets of lower ranks. Su Yenying is initially taken aback by Zhang Xiao's choice of pet, but she remains determined to win the match. However, the Lightning Rat, Su Yenying's pet, surprises everyone by standing up to the Dragon Hound without fear. The Lightning Rat, enveloped in electricity, shows its teeth and seems to be defending something. Su Yenying is shocked by the Lightning Rat's courage, as it goes against the nature of the timid pet. Zhang Xiao orders the Dragon Hound to attack the Lightning Rat, but the Lightning Rat dodges the attacks with its incredible speed and agility. Su Yenying is astonished as the Lightning Rat survives the Dragon Flames that should have consumed it. In a moment of realization, Su Yenying shouts for the Lightning Rat to come back to her. As the Dragon Hound lunges for the Lightning Rat, the Lightning Rat quickly gathers energy and unleashes a powerful skill called Thunder Slash. The skill creates a sword made of lightning that slashes at the Dragon Hound, incapacitating it. The audience is in awe of the Lightning Rat's unexpected victory over the powerful Dragon Hound. Su Yenying herself is shocked by the outcome, realizing that her low rank Lightning Rat has defeated a pet of a higher rank. The spectators are amazed by the Lightning Rat's talent and potential. Meanwhile, on a row of seats nearby, a group of powerful individuals, including the Vice President of the Academy, watches the battle. They are impressed by the Lightning Rat's display of the seventh rank skill, Thunder Slash. They discuss the potential of the Lightning Rat, stating that if it evolves into a higher rank, it could be a formidable pet against pets of higher ranks. However, they also note that the Lightning Rat's potential is limited due to its low rank. Nonetheless, they acknowledge the impressive talent displayed by the Lightning Rat. 